Okay, so welcome to the next in this series of screencast on pro programming for psychology and vision science. So in this screencast we're going to be looking more at drawing. This is the last in the series of uh, screencasts on drawing and we're going to be looking at dots broadly defined. So the objectives of this screencast is actually just the one. We just want to be able to create and manipulate stimuli that are formed from a number of individual elements. So patterns that are formed from a number of these small elements so these can be dots for example uh, a versatile stimuli that are frequently used in uh, vision research so if we go to our spider window as usual so in psychopi we can create uh, these dot type of stimuli using a um, class of stimuli called element array stim so what we're going to do is show an example of where we're going to show a stimulus formed from a um, randomly positioned set of dots. So let's get ourselves started as usual. Psychopy.visual or psychopy.event. We'll create our window 400 by 400 in pixels, not full screen. We'll make sure that we close it. Okay, so what we want to do is we're first going to set a variable called n dots, which is going to determine the number of dots we're going to draw, and let's draw 200 of them. So the key thing about this element array stim is that for a lot of its arguments, it takes a list of um, values. So as you've seen so far, um, a lot of the um, stimuli just took a single value. For, so for example, if you're drawing a grating, this um, orientation is a single value that specifies the orientation of the grating. But for an element array stim, most of these arguments um, are plural. So they can take a list where each individual element can have a different um, parameter value. So this is a really conveniently way to draw uh, a stimulus from a large number of small individual elements. And perhaps the most critical parameter is called XYs. And this is the one that specifies the position of each element. So what we're going to do for our 200 dots is we want to work out the X and Y positions. So we start by defining an empty list. So this is going to, this dot underscore XYs is eventually going to be a 200 item list where each item is going to be the horizontal and vertical position of that particular um, dot. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, loop over dots. So for dot in range and dots. Now we want to generate a random horizontal position for the dot. So we want random.uniform. We'll use the whole window, so from minus 200 to 200. Dot vertically, again, we'll use the whole window. Now notice that we're using this random functionality here, so we're going to need to import that. Okay, so we've generated these random horizontal and vertical positions. So now what we want to do is add them to our uh, list that we're accumulating um, with the positions of our dots. So we use the append function to add in a list where it's composed of the horizontal and vertical position of this particular dot. Okay, so after we go through this, this uh, loop, it'll go through 200 times each time growing the size of this dot xy's list by one until eventually it's 200 items long. So once we have that, we can make our uh, dot stimulus. So we do that by uh, this psychopi.visual.elementArrayStim. As usual, it needs to know the window and we'll tell it the units. Okay, so there are a few new um, arguments to this function. The first one is that we need to tell it the number of elements, so n elements, which is going to equal the number of dots, so 200. Now we can tell it the xy's, so this is going to be the positions that we've created, dot xy's. 
Now, another one is element text. So this is what text here is short for texture. So this is the um, what the each individual dot or each individual element is going to look like. So the way we're going to find our dots is by setting this to a special Python word called none. So this none is a way of telling uh, Psychopy that just use the default for this, um, which turns out to be just a white um, white uh, stimulus, a white region. So each individual element is going to be a white region, but we're going to use this argument called element mask to make it into a circle shape. So what you what it's going to be is going to be a um, a, a white square but then we're going to mask out the edges by using this circle shape. Okay, finally we need to give it some sizes, but rather than usual size, we're going to use plural equals, and let's make them 10. So you'll note that even though this um, is plural and can accept a list, we can also give it one number if the same thing applies to every item in the um, element array stimulus. So we can uh, finish that, and as usual, we need to draw it, flip our window, and wait for a key press. All right, so let's go through this. We've created our window, we've set our number of dots in a variable, we've initialized our uh, dot positions to be an empty list, now we're going to loop over all of our dots, each time generating a random horizontal and vertical position and adding that to our uh, list of positions. Then we're going to use that to um, generate our dot stimulus using element array stim, where we specify the dot xy's as the xy's argument. Okay, so let's save that and have a look. All right, so you can see that in our window here, we've got a random uh, position array of these uh, 200 elements or 200 dots. So let's just, just check they are random. Just kind of um, memorize something around that configuration. And if we run it again, it'll be a different configuration because we're using these randomly generated positions. Okay, but the element array stim doesn't have to be used for just these circular dots. We can actually create some quite neat stimuli by um, changing the values of the element text and element mask parameters. So for example, let's um, change this, this random uh, dot stimulus to have a random set of little um, gratings. We're going to do that by changing the element text. So we're going to set this to sign to be a, our sinusoid and we'll change the mask to Gauss to be a Gaussian mask. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is, because we're now using the sinusoid, we want to set the spatial frequencies of our elements. And here, let's somewhat arbitrarily set them to uh, two, and we'll increase the size up to 20. Okay, so now if, if we save and run that, you can see that now that rather than um, little dots, now we have these little um, grating elements. So now what we can do is start to do things like, well, maybe want to show these gratings so that each of them has a um, random orientation. So what we can do is in our loop where we're setting the positions of each of our individual elements, let's add um, an empty list called dot ories. So this is going to hold our, our um, random dot orientations. So inside this loop, we're going to append an item to our dot ories. And this is going to be a random number generated between 0 and 180 degrees. So now we're building up a, a random orientation for each of our dots. So now what we need to do is add an argument ories and set it to dot ories. So now if we save that and run it, you can see we've generated something very similar to the previous one, but now each of the individual elements has a random orientation. Okay, so going back to our objectives, so it's just a, a, a single one for this screencast. 
we just wanted to be able to create and manipulate stimuli formed from a number of individual elements. So we looked at this element array stim, which is, is quite a flexible um, stimulus type in PsychoPy that can be used to create these kind of stimuli. Okay, I'll see you in the next screencast.